Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am sitting down and doing a makeup look and I'm sure you already know by the title, but it is a Valentine's Day makeup look. So I'm going quite literal. We're using a lot of pink tones here, but the overall vibe that I wanted to create was just like feel good skin, very pinky cheeks, a little bit of pink eyes, punchy, doll-like, and then a pink toned lip, which is actually a very different lip for me, but I have been loving this talk lip tonic in heart, which is very, you know, kind of perfect for the occasion. So I will be reviewing these very, very soon, but if you want to see a bunch of favorites, both new and old, used here to create this look, get into the Valentine spirit, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, I am unfortunately, but fortunately, starting with a product that's not yet on the website, but it is coming. This is the RMS Re-Evolve Locking Primer. So it's going to make the skin ultra moisturized and help that makeup grip so that it lasts all night long. Then, of course, I am following this up with the RMS Foundation. This is, of course, an amazing pair. It is also my favorite foundation at the moment. I am near done with it, and I am just kind of working with the warmth of my hands first. And then I will go in with my Jenny Patinkin Green Tea Beauty Sponge, my very favorite, to just sort of soften those edges, pick up any excess product on the face, and really just make it look like skin. That is, of course, the name of the game here. For the under eyes, I am going to conceal and correct. This is always what I do. So corrector, of course, first. This is the Air Perez Cream Corrector. I love this stuff. It's so easy to blend in with your finger. It is a lot more fleshy tone, so it's going to give a nice initial coverage. Light color correction since more peachy tone. So that way when I follow up with the Fit Glow Conceal Plus, which is a beautiful full coverage skin-like option, I'm using the shade 3.7. This will actually be able to conceal. So you see I've got a little mark there. I'm going to go ahead and cover up any redness around the nose. I'm going to follow up underneath my eyes. I always mention this, but I get really dark in that inner corner, so I put a little bit there too. And then just the usual. I'm going in with the Jenny Patinkin sponge and blending all of that in. The only spot that I'm going to blend in with my finger, I actually go in and add a little bit more product with a brush, is on that acne spot. So I recommend you doing the same. Sometimes the sponge can lift the product, and that's really where we want to maintain the coverage. So with that, I'll go with my finger, but everywhere else gets the sponge. Then, I, of course, I'm going to set it. I've been really into this puff from Jenny Patinkin. I really find it mattifies the area, makes it look smooth, and do make sure that you are doing this just right away because if you are waiting to set the under eyes, the product underneath is emollient. It's going to start creasing. It's just kind of the nature of the beast and this will prevent it doing that. So basically the areas that I heavily concealed. Then I'm going in with the Fit Glow Buffed Glow Palette. I am first taking the shade Bronzed Clay, which is a beautiful, quite warm tone, I will say, which I actually do like on my more olive -y complexion. Um, so I'm using a foundation brush to sort of lay this on right underneath the cheekbones. I'm also going to do it on my temple. I'm doing a light blend here, but I will go soften those edges again with the sponge. This is always something I recommend you doing because it has foundation on on it, so it's really going to help soften those lines. Then for highlight, I'm actually doing powder instead of cream, but you could go the cream route with this as well. This has a very wet look on the skin. This is the RMS Highlight in Prosecco Fizz, a gorgeous, gorgeous champagne that I'll be also using as a brown inner corner highlight, so just applying that on the cheeks and nose with a fan brush. And then I'm going in with the shade Buff petal also from the fit glow palette guys i'm so into these creams i think even if you have more oily skin you will really like them they blend very easily with just the finger you do not need any tools or anything like that not freakishly pigmented where they are intimidating and also have really a more demi matte finish on the skin they are not too shiny that's why i went in with that highlighter and let that do the work so once that's applied, I am actually going to go ahead and fill in my beauty marks. I've been into doing that. I did try to convert the pimple into a beauty mark, but I do also have a beauty mark on my lip, and I just found it was looking a little... It was still looking like a pimple, so I did go ahead and cover that up after, but I did really like it on all the other places. So I did that with my brown eyeliner, smudged it in so it looks really natural before diving right into the brows. So brows I've been keeping 
really easy. I'm just using the Plume Brow Pencil, small hair-like strokes, really just giving it a little bit of shape, not really going crazy and filling it in because I do have quite dark brows, and I find that this is the perfect amount of framing for my face, and I do love that product. For eyes, it's going to be simple, but we will be adding a little pop of color from Elate. I am using their pressed eye color. Um, I forget what the shade is called. I think it's called Beloved. I will link it down below, of course. It's got a slight mauviness to it. Light. It's like a good neutral tone, so it really helps make it look like a natural shadow as well. So I'm doing that in sort of my basic shape, and then I am going to go ahead and buff that out with the shade Union, which is a great just matte bone shade, which is something that I recommend everyone to have, but the Elite Shadows are just really great, not crazy pigmented, and very easy to work with, which I think is perfect for this look. So going ahead and buffing that in, this with the Dallium Tool 785, and then I am actually going in with the Antonin Baked Blush in Lily. I love this product. You could also use it on the cheeks. It's gorgeous, but I found that just applying this with my finger is the best way to get that color. So this is going to be our punch of pink. It's also going to brighten up the eye. So once I apply it there with my finger, I did dampen a brush and just do a little light layer on top. This is going to intensify it, which is sort of what I want. I didn't like to pack on the color with the wet brush. I do find that it's good for just going on top and making it pop. So I'm going ahead and just really focusing this on the center of the eye, just for that little bit of brightness. Then, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going in with the RMS Prosecco Fizz Highlight. I'm going ahead and highlighting the brow and the inner corner. I just find that like this is going to help with that doll-like shape that we're sort of creating. Um, it's like a cat doll eye, of course. We're doing not so rounded, but I really just think that it looks like youthful, bright, and healthy. So I'm just using the same brush I've been using the whole time, guys. You don't need to do anything crazy, and I do love a brow on highlight. Then for liner, we're sort of sticking with that like red and pink theme. This is from Air Perez. This is their liner in copper. I have almost used the whole thing. I adore this. I really have grown so much to love doing a pencil liner. I think you get so much control. Then you could go ahead and buff it in and soften it, smoke it out. That is essentially what I am going to be doing here. But it's so easy to wipe off and remove. It's malleable and creamy, but yet it will set and stay in place. It's just a really good natural sort of look. So I'm focusing this on the outer half of my eye. Really, really, really subtle. And then I am just taking an angled brush. This is actually an eyebrow brush from Plume, whichever one you have. This one just a little bit more dense. And I'm just buffing it out, pulling it out a little bit, making it look a little smokier. But I'm not applying any additional powder. I'm really just sort of working this into the skin, taking my time here. No rush. And then for that more rounded eye shape, I am just putting a little bit of this liner underneath the center of my eye and then rubbing it in with my finger. This is just a little something something. We'll also make the lashes underneath look a lot thicker as well, but I think it just ties in the whole look. And then I've been so into the Fit Glow Brightening Beige Liner, so we're not skipping that here. That's going to help open the eyes back up. And then we are going to do quite a few coats as always um, with the Ritual Defeat Levitation Lash. I am obsessed with this stuff. This is one of those formulas. The more you use it, the better it gets. And you can see I really take my time just like really focusing on the end lashes to give that flirty, you know, just really feminine, sultry sort of look. And we're definitely doing that today. For lips, I am back into lip liner, guys. Forgot how much I love these ones from RMS. I think I might have done a video on these. If I did, I'll link it down below. This here is the shade Sunset Nude. So I went ahead and like fast forwarded this because I'm taking my time here as well. I really only overline the top and then I only line the center of my bottom lip because my bottom lip's a lot more full than my top lip. So I'm just filling in the edges of the lip as well. And then really focusing the color on the edges and blending it in with my finger. And then I'm going in with the Talk Lip Tonic. I'm going to be reviewing these next week, guys. I promise. This is in the shade Heart. And normally alone, I wouldn't love this. But with the liner, it is just perfect. You can see these are a lot more pigmented. They're creamy. They're comfortable. This helps tie in that pink on the lid as well. I really love this shade. I think it is so girly and sweet. And then if it sort of covers up too much of the liner, I go ahead and just add a little bit more for good measure, a little bit more contrast, a little bit more pout. And uh, once I do that, that is the finished Valentine's Day look. 
All right, everyone, that is it. This is my completed pinky makeup look for Valentine's Day. I really hope that you guys love this. Of course, this is something that I would wear year round. I've never had a Valentine, okay? But I still like getting in to the theme, just something feminine, beautiful, breathable skin, but definitely made up, which I never like to skip out on. So if you want links to any of the products that I use here today, if there's any reviews for products that I've used a little bit more at length, I will absolutely include those down below for you. While you're down there, if you would please give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I do upload new videos here every single week and I don't want you guys to miss them. While you're down there, not only is there all the things that I've already mentioned, but there's also all the links to our social media handles. We are everywhere. Make sure to check us out, including on our newsletter for, you know, sales, reminders when these videos go live, bonus content, all of that stuff. Make sure to check us out there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your continued love and support. Happy Valentine's to ya, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.